What's up guys, this is JB from Simple GG, and in today's video we're going to be going over three of my favorite route concepts that you guys can apply to your game in Madden 23 to give your offense a jump start. Starting off with number three is basically any route combo or play that has a deep crosser and a backside dig route. One of the best examples of this is in the New England Patriots playbook in the formation gun trips head end. Um, my favorite play for this is PA counter go. This is what it looks like stock. I like to streak my tight end, flat my middle slot receiver, and put my outside receiver on a dig route. Um, my first read is obviously that crosser. I really want that deep, but if that's not there right away, I can normally hit my dig route for a wide open gain. You'll see here we do have the crosser, so we'll just possession catch that up the sideline. Another great play for this is also in the New England Patriots playbook in the same formation. It's called curl flat. This is what it looks like stock. Very similar uh, setup for this, except this time we're not having our running back on a play action blocking assignment. He is going to be on this angle route. You guys can block him if you so choose. Really the same setup. Um, we streak our tight end and put our outside receiver on an in route, snap the ball. If we don't have our deep crosser, we did that time. We can throw our um, in route coming over the middle but we did have the crosser, so there's really no need to take the shorter check down. Coming in at number two on our list is going to be a wheel flat combo. The reason the wheel flat combos are so great is because they are really great at attacking the seams and also allow us to have some pretty nice check downs. One of my favorite plays to do this out of is out of mesh spot or mesh post, depending on which bunch playbook you're in. Again, this doesn't have to be in a bunch playbook. Um, this is just probably where you'll see it the most. The best thing to do here is to either smoke screen or flat or out route, just anything to pull the flat zones to the sideline away from the wheel. I think my personal favorite thing to do is put them on an out route. I feel like that works better than the smoke screens. You guys will see on the left, excuse me, on the right side that we do have a wheel from the tight end as well. And that's why I put my outside bunch receiver on a flat route to do the same exact thing on both sides of the field. I like to motion this guy out as well, kind of move that flat zone out a little bit, snap the ball, wait for something to get open. We did have the tight end there that time. The running back was pretty covered, but you guys will see there that we did have our flat routes as well, I believe. Hurry up and go through this real quick. You guys can see out routes open here. It's a nice check down. You guys will see here as well that our flat route was pretty open in addition to the wheel. So let's say this wheel is covered. We do have this flat over here wide open. No one within 10, 15 yards of him. Just a really great concept overall. Coming in at number one on my list is going to be a post slant combo. This is going to require you a tight end apprentice or a hot route master depending on the formation you're in. Um, personally, I like this best out of trips, so I'm going to need a tight end apprentice or a hot route master because I want to be able to put my tight end on a post route. Um, you'll see something like this typically. You'll see a slant from the inside receiver and a post from the tight end. This does typically work best in trip sets, although you can do it from other formations. And the great thing about this is that it does allow you freedom with your other routes. Um, personally, I like to do something like this where I put my uh, middle slot receiver on a zig to pull zones away from my slant as well as pull flat zones down away from my post and I like to have that deep post um, as a nice shot play in case it gets open. You guys will see here we'll just read the post and the slant. The slant was pretty covered, we'll wait on the post. We did get shedded there but you guys can see Gronk was very open on his post. I'll run that one more time for you guys. Same setup. Uh, circle on a slant, tight end on a post, triangle on a zig and square on a post as well. You can do other things with this. We could even just flat this guy, our middle slot receiver and streak him if we wanted to, um, but we'll go with the same setup this time. It doesn't have to be play action either, another great thing. But you guys can see how open that is. I mean, it's just awesome. Make a move upfield, you guys are out of there. No problems. If you guys enjoyed the video and felt like you learned something, please consider dropping a like and subscribing. In addition to visiting civil.gg, the link to our website will be in the description. You guys can use code GG for 20% off at checkout.